Good morning, beautiful. Welcome to a brand new day of life. Goodness gracious, it is a wonderful day to be alive. And you and I have been given quite the gift today, haven't we? So this week, my family is staying on a yacht, a yacht floating in the harbor, securely tied to the dock. This yacht will not hit the open waters. It will not see other shores. It will stay docked right here for all its days. I've been surprised this week by how many multi-million dollar yachts I'm surrounded by here in the harbor that are the same. They never leave the dock. The truth is most of these boats haven't been touched all year. They sit unused, floating up and down in the rising and receding tide and never move more than six feet. Looking at these yachts, I'm reminded of the quote, a ship is safe in the harbor, but that's not what a ship is built for. I wonder how many of us are like these high dollar, powerful yachts tied up in the harbor. We were created for so much more, but we've never dared to set sail. We could go, but we don't. We've assumed our position in a box measuring approximately 2,000 square feet, and we rarely peek our heads out. Have we settled? Question. Were you made for more than you are currently doing? Is there untapped potential in you? Do you have gifts and talents endowed to you by your creator, but they're going unused? Could you do more and become more? The answer for most of us, including myself, yes. (laughs) Oh, heck yes. There's so much more in us. Most of us know Jeremiah 29, 11. Goodness, I've probably quoted this scripture 10 times over the last month. For I know the plans I have for you, declares the Lord, plans to prosper you, not to harm you, plans to give you hope and a future. But do we trust it? Do we trust God's plan enough to seize the opportunities that come our way? Do we trust God's plan enough to not lose hope when our own plans fall apart? Do we trust God's plan enough to follow where he leads? Or will we choose to sit in the harbor Will we choose comfort and ease over purpose and fulfillment? Who sold us on that one? Here, take some comfort and ease. (laughs) Yeah, forget about purpose and fulfillment. Well, that sucks. Will we sit and watch the sun rise and the sun set over and over again on our days, pretending we're okay, while the truth is we're rusting away? Oh, yeah, everyone talks about being burned out these days, but the truth of is most of us aren't really burned out. We're not on fire for life. We're not passionate. We're not really trying our best and going to bed exhausted. Nah, we're not burned out. We're rusted out. We're sitting. We're wasting our days. We're complaining about being stuck all while we were created to go and be and do. Where are you not living up to your potential? Where have you settled? It's safe. But if we're being honest, it's killing us. The rough spot in our lives are growing and we're all eaten up inside. Will you trust God enough to pray a bold prayer today? Will you ask him to show you where you're playing it safe? Will you ask him to stir you where you have settled? Then will you tell him you want his plan for your life to unfold? You want to fulfill your purpose? You're ready to cut the ties to the safe harbor and do what you were created to do? Oh, God, please stop the rust in our lives. Fan the flame in us once again to be passionate about living. Stir us in our settled areas and make us unsettled. Yeah, God, we give you permission to rock our boat. You know, sometimes a storm comes along 
that is so great these docked yachts break loose from the harbor. And perhaps the storm in your life has been allowed for the sole purpose to set you free. The ropes are being worn. You're about to break free. But the storm sucks. Yeah, that's the thing about storms. They kind of suck. But can you trust it's for a purpose? There's so much more available to you in life than you currently see. God sees the big picture. We see the waters we're currently on and assume that's all there is. But, oh, there's so much more. May we realize that comfort leads to complacency and ease leads to erosion. May we see the rusty areas in our life for what they truly are. And may we be so bold to remember we were never created to be tied up and stuck in life. May I pray with you today? I would be so honored to lead each of us in that bold prayer I just talked about. Where are my bold big life girls at? Bold enough to pray a prayer that God would show you where you're settling, that God would show you those rust spots in your life. Bold enough to pray, hey God, stir up the storm if you need to. I need to be set free here. I wasn't made for this. I'm not supposed to be stuck in life. God, you have full permission to rock my boat. Yeah, let's pray that prayer together today. And we also had a few prayer requests come in that we're going to pray over. Join me. God, good morning. God, how we thank you for this new day of life. I thank you for the sun that is rising and the new day that is here. And your mercies are new each morning. And I just thank you. God, you are so good to us. And we receive this day, this gift. We rip into it. And God, we want to live it. And I mean really live it. God, we come to you and we ask you to show us where we are playing it safe. Will you stir us up where we have settled? God, we we trust you and we want your plan for our life to unfold. We want to fulfill our purpose that you created us for. We are ready to cut the ties to the safe harbor and do what we were created to do. God, please stop this rust in our lives that's just eating us alive. God, would you fan the flame in us again to be passionate about this life that you've given us. Stir us in our settled areas and make us unsettled. God, come in and rock our boat. Just guide us and direct us. As we follow you, God, as we dare to go into uncharted waters, would you just guide us little by little? We're following you here, God. Lord, I thank you for each one listening this morning. I pray for your blessings over their life, for every detail. God, they're they're coming here this morning with worries and stresses, family members that are ill and hurting, financial problems, worries about their marriage, stresses over their home. God, relationships in trouble, finances in trouble, businesses, careers at risk. God, I thank you that you know each one of their needs. You know them intimately, you know them well, and you care about them. And so, God, I pray for each one listening. Would you meet their needs? Would you provide? Would you protect? Would you bless? We thank you in advance for the way that you're going to show up in our lives today and what you're going to do. God, I specifically pray for our sister Karen. We pray for clarity and we pray for confidence in Karen's life. God, we also pray for Cindy's son, Cameron, who's setting off on an adventure to go on college campus tours. And God, we just pray that you would give that group of kids just safety as they travel. Oh, God, I know that you have a purpose for each one of their lives. What an exciting time this is for them as they look at all these opportunities. I pray that you would open doors for these kids. 
and they would be bold enough to run through those doors and pursue the thing that you've placed in their heart. And I pray that all of us would do that, God. All of us, 40, 50, 60, 70-year-old women listening to this, may we be the same. May we see the doors of opportunities you have open, and may we run through them with excitement. Thank you again for this day of life. It is in the sweet and precious name of Jesus. Amen. Gosh, I'm glad you joined me here today. I truly am. It is such an honor to start each day here at His Feet with you, my sister. Well, this has been your proud head mama coming to you live from vacation. I hope everybody has an absolutely fabulous day. I love you wildly. Bye-bye.